Hi, I'm Shelley Jones. Welcome to Learning Math with Dr. Jones. Our Facebook group will post a daily math lesson Monday through Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time throughout the month of August. Good morning, I'm Dr. Shelley Jones from Central Connecticut State University. And today I will be working in the Math Foundations workbook. Uh, first, I'm gonna look at unit four, which is um, actually in particular section 4.3, which is volume. So I'll do a little bit with volume. Um, so let's get started. Um, section 4.3, page 141 is actually part of the, um, the checkpoint. And I wanted to do this one because I wanted to do a problem with a cone. And so we talked about yesterday how the volume for um, a prism is the area of the base times the height, right? So the area of the base times the height. And so the big B is the area of the base. But for a cone in particular, we need that to be one third of that because we don't have like when we have the cylinder coming straight up like this, right? When we had the cylinder, then we would have the volume of uh, the area of the base time height. But for a cone, we need to have one third of that because it goes up into that apex. So we're missing all of this area here, okay? All right, so let's get started. So the volume of a cone is one third times uh, pi r squared, which is the area of that circular base, times the height of the cone. And the height of the cone is a perpendicular line from the base of the cone up through the apex, right? Up to the tip of the apex down. So think about maybe dropping a string down to the base. All right, so this one's quite easy because we have everything we need here to find the volume. We have the height, which is five centimeters, and we have the radius, which is the radius from the height, right? So the radius from the center of that base, from that center of that circle, over to the edge of the circle, and that is five. So the volume is one third times pi times three squared times five. And here's my calculator. So I'm gonna actually do that with my calculator, and I would suggest you do the same, especially because uh, we wanna be most accurate by using the pi button um, in situations like this. So I'm going to say 3 squared is 9 divided by 3 because there I have this and this. And then I'm going to multiply that, multiply that times pi, and then multiply that times 5. And I have 47.1. And I'm going to round these off to the nearest tenths. So I have 47.1, uh, and everything is in centimeters. So uh, cubic centimeters. You want to make sure that you write your uh, units. All right, let's try the next one. So for B, it says, what if we know the volume? And I want to find the height. So we know the volume is 39.27 cubic feet, and we know the radius is 2.5 feet. How can I find the height? Well, again, I'm going to use the same formula, the volume, 39. 27 is equal to one third of pi r squared. So pi, the radius is 2.5 squared. Um, all right, so let's see. I can do this one out. 39.27 equals one third pi uh, uh, 6, 6.25, I think. Let's just 2.5 squared. 6.25. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's see, oh, I'm forgetting the H. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so I have volume equals one third pi r squared H. So I forgot the H. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to divide everything here. I'll tell you why. I mean, I don't think it's going to make it that much different, 
But I want, I want to really get something accurate. And I know that if I say one divided by three, I get uh, 0 0.3333333. And if, when I do pi, I get 3.14 and a, a whole bunch of other numbers. So rather than round it off over here, I'm going to do it over here. So let's see. So I'm going to clear that out. And I'm going to do 39.27 divided by. And I'm going to say parenthesis. Okay, what do I want to do? I'm going to say 6.25 divided by 3. So parenthesis, and then another parenthesis, 6.25 divided by 3, parenthesis. Okay, so that's my first uh, set of parentheses within that parenthesis, times pi, and then parenthesis, and then equals 6.000. You know, I did that because I wanted to be accurate, but if you had uh, figured this out, you know, if you had done 6.25 divided by uh, one third times pi and whatever you get, and then you divide both sides by that, that's okay as well, okay? But the way I did it, I just, because if you do it that way, you're probably going to round off over here and then divide by your already rounded off answer. So I, I try not to round off until the very end. So my height ended up being 6.0 feet. And, and that's it for that, okay? So, um, so you know, I want to point out, um, when I say uh, the, the base of the cone is a circle, but this is not, this is not the um, volume for the cone, though. The volume for the cone, I need that one third there. So I just want to be careful, and for, in fact, I'll put that there. When I put B, big B times H, that was just to remind you of what we did yesterday, the volume for those rectangular prisms and that cylinder that we did yesterday had the big B H. But now that we're doing the cone and it goes up into that apex, we want to remember it's that one third of big B H, okay? Hi, I'm Dr. Shelley Jones. I'm excited to announce the one-year anniversary of my best-selling book, Women Who Count, honoring African-American women mathematicians. Meet me on Sunday, September 13th at 2 p.m. to celebrate Women Who Count because representation matters. Stay tuned for a special panel discussion with mathematicians featured in the book, giveaways including a Katherine Johnson t-shirt, and activities from the book. Please register on Eventbrite for Women Who Counts One Year Celebration.